Welcome to Rosslair Security. My name is David Bramlett. I am the Technical Support Manager for US and Canada. Today we're going to be talking about installing Axtrax NG software. First thing that we need to do is to go to the US website and to download our Axtrax software. We'll want to go to www.axtraxng.com and we'll want to download the latest Axtrax NG which is the 23.04 simply click on the icon here download it will ask you for a password your password and username are both Axtrax NG this will take approximately seven minutes to download I've already got it on my desktop so we'll just close out the screen the next step that we need to do while we're letting this download is we need to go to our Windows Start button, we need to go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, and we need to check to see if there is another Microsoft SQL Server installed. In this case you can see that we have one. We need to delete this. Now you want to check with your customer first. Uh, you want to make sure that they're not using it for anything else. Make sure you do get permission before you delete it. Highlight it. Click on the uninstall. Tell it yes and it will delete. Axtrax NG requires a version of SQL to be installed so that it can process all of its events. Um, our software will come back to 23.04 and it will install Microsoft SQL 2012. It'll put our password on it so that we can install to it. If the customer is using a, another program that has SQL and SQL is already installed, if they do know the password, we can connect to that SQL and use their password instead of the one that comes with Ross Lair and we can connect to it. A SQL can handle up to 10 programs. If you can't delete it then we have a very good program on our website that you can go down to and it is called Installing SQL 2012. This will step you through everything that you need to know where you need to download the SQL and all of the steps in order to put in a secondary version of Microsoft SQL. Another thing that we need to make sure of before we start the installation uh, we do require that .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.0 are installed. The easiest way to do this is to go to our Windows Start type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Click on it. Under regedit, you can see that I've already got mine open, but we'll go under local machine. We'll point to the down arrow to the software. From the software, we will go to Microsoft, and then under Microsoft, we will see .NET Framework Setup. You can see on my machine that 3.5 is installed and 4.0 is installed. Uh, if you don't have both of them installed, you need to go to your Microsoft download website and download and install both. After we've verified that, we know that we have everything in place, we do want to start our installation. We will double left click on our extracts. We will select Run. It is extracting all of our files here. Uh, once we've extracted our files, it'll ask us to agree to the terms, which we have to agree if we want to install it. And then we want to install both server and client. Once we click that, um, it will install server and client and several other uh, softwares in the background that we need to run the software. Um, as you can see as it pulls up here, we agree, we select server, we select client. We don't select the Vitrax unless you have a reason for that. It's a purchasable software and we'll cover that in a later video. We do have a issue with this software and the executable 
um, has the Vitrax already uh, set up to install so it will do that install all you have to do once uh, you finish the installation is go back to your Windows Start control panel and programs and features and then delete the Vitrax. Server is the part of the software that's running in the background that actually does the connection to the panel itself, to the Rosslayer panel. The client is your GUI interface and the client connects on the PC to the server and then server to the uh, panel for the connection. We can use client on multiple other PCs to interface to the server. Um, it, we just need to make sure that they're on the same local area network, uh, take the same software, install it on any other PC and you can connect into the server. The max that can be on at one time on clients is 10 and there can only be one person that has administrative rights to be able to do moves and changes. The others can monitor and watch uh, uh, but they can't do changes. Okay, you can see that our Vitrax installed. Now we're going to install Crystal Reports. Crystal Reports is um, a software that is installed that we use for our reports on the Axtrax software. Next software installed is uh, Stroke Scribe. It's used in our badge printing. Now we're going to install the client. The client will put a icon on your desktop. Server will not. The only thing that you need to open our software uh, is the client. The server again runs in the background. It will install the watchdog which will create an icon here in the bottom screen after we've done our restart. The watchdog is used to give us a visual monitor of our networks and panels. As you can see we have the client installed at this point in time. Now we're going to install Microsoft SQL Server. As you know, when we first started, the one thing that we want to make sure of is that either uh, we have no Microsoft SQL installed so that our uh, software can install the proper, proper version and uh, passwords, or we need to install a second version and I showed where you can download that on our website. This, the process of installing Microsoft SQL there's really nothing that you have to do. Our software will do all of the installation. It'll take approximately 10 minutes for this installation so I'm going to pause at this time. We've now been approximately 10 minutes um, you know, on the install of the SQL that's now completed and we are at this point ready to install the server. We want to hit next and next and we will start this process. server has, has successfully installed. 
Now the next thing that we will install is, is the watchdog. As I said earlier, it basically runs in the background. We'll look at it as we after we restart the PC. We will have an icon in the bottom right hand side and this is a monitor for our panels and for our networks. Okay, so Watchdog is finished. The next thing that's installed is called the HASP, H-A-S-P drivers. Uh, you would only need the HASP drivers if you installed over 63 panels. Up to 63, our software is free starting at the 64th. You have to have the HASP key and of course a driver to run it and that is a purchasable item. We do install them now so that it'll have the proper version for the 23.04 and if you were to go up to that amount of panels you wouldn't have to go search for the proper driver for it. Okay, we finished with our HASP. Now we are going to complete the installation here. It's going to come up and it's going to tell us that we need to restart the computer. We do need to do that. Just telling it OK does not restart it. You will need to go to your Windows Start and do a restart on the PC. Once that comes back up, we will uh, log back in and pick up on our train. Okay, we're back from our uh, restart of our PC and the first thing that we'll notice is that we have our watchdog icon on the bottom right hand corner. If we double click on this we will see that um, it, it is telling us that our server is running as a service and that we do not have any networks. This is simply a, a notification that our client has connected to the server and that we are ready to log in. Now, I had already logged in just to double check this. Uh, we double left click on our client. We'll come up as administrator. Our password is lowercase admin for admin. Now we're into and we have our software loaded. Thank you.